Hello everyone. A very warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to Krishna Mystery. So we have uh, two weeks in our hand for this prelims of patent officer. So in this two weeks, okay. So in these two weeks, how we have to prepare for this patent officer exam to crack preliminary examination, right? So this strategy uh, we are going to discuss today. So first of all, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, tell you important chapters. First of all, so very very important chapters in reasoning and aptitude, which I'm going to provide you here. Along with that, important uh, chapters in English and also uh, current affairs. Right. So just try to plan these two weeks in a very very efficient manner. Don't waste your time. At least try to cover as much syllabus as possible. Give at least uh, try to cover every chapter because revision is very very important. Try to cover every chapter of reasoning aptitude uh, per day at least two chapters. Okay, so per day at least two chapters try to cover uh, so that if you have thirty chapters, you can complete in this twelve to twenty four at least. If you if you can complete twenty chapters out of thirty, then definitely you can perform well in the exam, right? And moreover, you have to <clears throat> revise these all chapters in a very very uh, selective manner. You don't need to revise all the chapters. Uh, if you observe previous year question papers, some questions are frequently asking on some chapters. Okay, so you have to focus on those chapters only. Okay. So, for suppose, if you <clears throat> see reasoning section, first of all, I'm talking about this reasoning section. So, in this reasoning section, we have series, letter series, number series, alphabet series, combination series. First of all, I'm suggesting you don't focus much on this combination series because this combination series is not for patent officer, right? So, according to me, uh, most of the questions will come. Only on the basic level, and moreover, uh, you can see uh, questions on this combination series very very rarely. Okay, so on combination series, uh, maximum, most probably they won't ask any questions. They might ask questions on this letter series, number series, and alphabet series. Okay, so I'm suggesting you. Please focus on this letter series, number series, and alphabet series only in these two weeks. Okay, so try to cover these three topics in just three to four hours. In just three to four hours, don't do anything. Just remember the formulas, or just remember the uh, you know tips and tricks, and try to solve the questions. Okay, so th these letter series, number series, and alphabet series is very very important. Okay, these three are very very important. And next one is coding and de decoding. Coding and decoding, coding is also not that important. Okay, so if you are the person who has already completed your syllabus, then you can focus on this chapter. Otherwise, you can leave this chapter, right? But when it comes to syllogism, syllogism is very very important. Just focus on this chapter and try to solve the questions. And order and ranking, this is also important chapter because if you see uh, previous year question papers, two thousand fifteen and eighteen. I think in 18 questions came on order and ranking, right? So order and ranking chapter is very very easy. Okay, if you didn't prepare till now, okay, regarding this particular chapter, you can see this uh, chapter on YouTube because um, so many lectures are available on this particular order and ranking. You can watch these lectures, uh, watch lectures on this particular order and ranking on YouTube. right so next one is blood relations so blood relations is also very very important distance and direction is also very very important so uh, in reasoning part you have to cover 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so try to cover these seven chapters at least in this two weeks and try to do previous year questions try to do previous year questions and try to do some practice questions Okay, try to do some practice questions. Uh, then definitely you can perform well if you cover this. At least if you cover these seven chapters. Okay, 
so next when it comes to uh, and also along with that seating arrangement seating arrangement is also very very important verbal reasoning is also very very important so focus on this seating arrangement also okay seating arrangement is very very important you can expect at least one question on this and moreover this seating arrangement is very very easy blood relations distance and direction is very very easy order and ranking is very very easy and this seating arrangement is also very very easy okay you don't need to spend much time on this three chapters especially right uh, i think according to me you can cover this blood relations distance and direction and this seating arrangement in just 3 to 4 uh, hours okay so next one aptitude so when it comes to aptitude number series okay i have already discussed about this number series is very very important just uh, try to do questions on basic level only right so next ratio and proportion this is very important pie charts and bar charts that is data interpretation so don't leave this uh, uh two chapters actually this is one chapter only data interpretation so data interpretation is very very important every time every time question will ask on this data interpretation try to just solve the questions because even if you want to uh get information on data interpretation you can't get anywhere right so only thing uh, if you want to get command on this chapter you have to do previous year questions only right try to uh, do previous year questions of this patent officer on di and also try to do previous questions of uh, ssc cgl right next one is probability <clears throat> probability is also very very important right so in this aptitude 1 2 3 4 so we have four chapters here right here four chapters here total nine chapters are there here nine chapters are there in this nine chapters at least at least if you want you can leave this one verbal reasoning actually verbal reasoning is important if you don't have time just leave this verbal reasoning but at least out of 9 prepare at least 8 okay prepare at least 8 and do previous year questions here 8 here 4 so total 12 so total 12 so in reasoning and aptitude combinedly uh, you have to cover 12 chapters in reasoning and aptitude at least you have to cover this 12 chapters right to get maximum marks next one when it comes to english you don't need to uh, complete whole syllabus of english at least in this two weeks in this last two, two weeks try to uh, focus on this antonyms and synonyms because if you observe previous year question papers at uh, definitely questions always questions are always asking on this antonyms and synonyms okay so we have totally a to z letters right so a to z we have uh, so try to cover for suppose we have uh, 12 days approximately 12 days right so try to learn at least five important antonyms and synonyms for suppose today start with a okay so today start with a in this with this letter a with this letter a you have to you have to read at least five antonyms and five synonyms right so that too very very important antonyms and synonyms um you can see the previous year question papers of ssc cgl okay for this you can see the previous year question papers of ssc cgl and also you can search on google okay so on google you can find very important antonyms and synonyms list so just type very important antonym and synonym list with letter a okay so uh, today try to cover antonym and synonym with letter a okay so tomorrow start with b okay day after tomorrow c like this you have to cover per day totally antonym and synonyms 10 that means in 12 days you can cover 12 into 10 so totally 120 antonyms and synonyms that is very very important that do very very important antonyms and antonyms and synonyms totally 120 you can cover okay so if you can cover 120 antonyms and synonyms that to very very important antonyms antonyms and synonyms they are more than you know they are they are more than enough to get uh, good marks in in this uh, english part right next one current affairs so current affairs are very very important uh, especially i am suggesting you don't miss this august current affairs okay generally so many students uh, uh don't 
study the current affairs of this particular month august but examiner intentionally examiner intentionally ask uh, current affairs of this particular current month okay so definitely questions will come from this month okay probability is is there so please uh, study the current affairs of august in this 12 days in this 12 days right so uh, that's all uh, if you if you have any other doubts you can ask me in the comment section right so thank you so much